Hi, hello, welcome everybody to today's video. Now, as you can see, there is something very um unusual, if you will, about this setup. I am more 3D than I normally am. This is because I have figured out a new way to make videos with a real-time face sensor, if you will. I made this using Live 2D and V2 Studio and also VBridger with my phone. Uh, although I have an Android, so it's like not really amazing. And also it doesn't track my face going across the screen like this. Or this. So unfortunately I'll have to censor <laughs> that in uh, post-edit if that ever happens. It's because if I were using, for example, the V2 Studio mobile version, I think that would actually track properly and not like this. But because I'm using VBridger with my Android phone, it is unfortunately not working as intended. But, you know, that is the least amount of little trial and error we can have. This is honestly perfectly fine for what I'm using this for. The reason why I'm doing this, first of all, because in this video we're going to be talking about how I made plushies for my friends and me. And I was like, oh, I don't know, it's kind of weird to have a 3D IRL environment switch into a live 2D VTuber environment. So I didn't want to have my VTuber avatar out for this one in specific. I just didn't feel like it would fit the team. So I was like, I can make this 3D if I try hard enough. And I did. So here we go. <laughs> If any of you guys are interested in how all this works, I could probably make like a YouTube short if it's um, a highly requested topic, but otherwise, this is actually really simple. Now the second reason is because I wanted to show off my outfits. You guys, I have banger outfits and they're not just for me and my friends eyes only. I mean, come on, like you guys have to see. Although for this, I will have to censor my face anyway, which is kind of, you know, going against what we were going for in the first place but you know it's fine i just wanted to show you guys my cute outfit i dressed up for this video for you guys so you you you're gonna have to see my outfit now i dressed up real nice i even put on tights i know you guys can't see it but that's okay i look real cute and i wanted you guys to see it so you're welcome Let's get on to the video now, <laughs> after that long intro. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made these two, as well as the main character of today, Roxy. Now, little story about these other two. This is Ketty and this is Gamo. These are for my friend's birthdays because they're gonna be in like April and March. I wanted to pre-make them so that um, I get to give it to them in time and I'm not like late or anything. But because of that, I also had time to actually make one for myself. So I made one for myself. This is Roxy. If anybody doesn't know, these are the three main characters. Well, three of the main characters. There's actually six main characters of Flying School. Recently, I posted a reboot trailer for the new reboot that's gonna be happening next year so that's exciting but these are the original designs actually uh in this um camera angle I, I swear it looks better in real life and in the shots we're gonna be seeing later on but like she looks a little a little tortured right now but that's okay it's okay guys everything's fine so anyway i'm gonna be showing you guys how i made these three but more specifically roxy because these two other ones that I made for my friends. I didn't really want to make a video of them because I was like, that's kind of a little bit weird. So I wanted to make one of the one that I made for myself anyway. So yeah, let's just get right on to it. The whole process starts with me cutting the little stencils out of paper. I usually draw them on and like kind of mix match them how they're supposed to fit onto the whole thing. So I do this on paper because it's the easiest for me. And... After I'm done, I cut them out and then I can trace them onto the fabric real easily. So that's why I do it this way. So in this clip, um, we can see me tracing the paper onto the fabric. Like I said, it's real easy. I just used a few highlighters to not really have the colors show through the other side, but I can still see it when I'm cutting and it's really nice. It's really easy. And in this clip, actually, <laughs> maybe you guys noticed that I'm not alone. One of my friends who I made these plushies for is actually here. It is not her birthday yet at the time of the recording. Actually, also the way I posted this video was intentionally right after both of their birthdays so that they don't get spoiled. 
And um, she has only seen the plushie that I didn't make for her at this time, so she is not spoiled either. Don't worry about it. We were watching the new Monster High reboot movie with the live action characters. Uh, it was okay. I mean, I didn't hate it, but it wasn't really giving, if you will. Now let me talk a bit about how this layout is so very useful to me because I actually have messed up characters sewing because I didn't lay them out properly, namely Ketty actually. So if you guys know the original Ketty's design, she has like an off the shoulder type shirt, so I actually messed that up. When I was doing this, I was supposed to have a strip of the skin color up on the top but I could not do that because I forgot about that part so it ended up looking like this instead but it's okay she still looks nice <laughs> I also messed up Gamo's legs so she became a bit of a mommy long legs if you will uh, because I didn't lay out the black fabric properly. It was facing the other way it was supposed to. So because of that, she looks a little bit different than the other ones, but different is not worse. So, you know, she's cute still. <laughs> now in this clip, you can see me struggling to make footage of me sewing Roxy's tail together. This is very easy. I use just a regular stitch. I don't actually know what it's called. It's the, it's the regular whole closing stitch I believe I don't I don't know the terms I'm not gonna lie to you guys I this was my first time sewing in about three years so I did my best you can bet on that I did my best in this clip you can see me struggling to shoot footage of me sewing part two because actually I was really sad I ordered a camera stand for my phone so I could probably make these you know a lot better but at the time of the recording actually it still has not come so I'm getting a little worried I'm not going to lie uh, in this clip not a lot is happening I'm just kind of sewing all the limb pieces together and the skirt and whatnot I tried my goddamn best okay so you better appreciate it forgot to mention but this is clearly not a tutorial from me this is you came here to see me suffer tonight and that's okay i didn't suffer that much why would i say that i'm so mean to myself sometimes now at this stage you can see me play with the little finger puppets of the limbs i've made all of the things are already sewn together that need to be and like little holes on them are left open obviously for the stuffing now we move on to the stuffing part very easy very self-explanatory uh, in one of the clips, I actually show off what I used. What I used is called cake pille. This is sort of a, just a normal kind of stuffing. I don't really know what it would be called in English. This is obviously a Hungarian brand, so it's not going to be very helpful for people who are trying to do this. This whole video isn't going to be useful for any anybody trying to do this, I realize, because this isn't really a tutorial now, is it? <laughs> The head honestly could have used a bit more stuffing, I'm not gonna lie, in hindsight. It's always easier to see what you could have done better later, isn't it? Now in this clip, you can see me sew on the ear pieces to the head. I could have probably done this better. I did just a normal whole closing stitch on here again. I could have done like probably um, an invisible stitch or something. I don't really know, I'm no, not a professional at all. Again, no professionalism in this video whatsoever. Probably aside from my cool ass Life 2D head that is floating on my 3D body. So cool, I know, right? That's at least cool, you know? My stitching might not be, but at least I'm, I'm good at this. You know what? It gives it a charm. It looks very homemade. Now in this next clip, you can see everything already assembled, all holes closed with each other or by each other. Uh, that does not make sense in English does it now hmm it really doesn't well you guys get it anyway now at this stage I was wondering which eyes should I really choose for Roxy but I ended up going with the lighter ones because I don't have purple ones but Roxy's eyes are purple well they're supposed to be and I felt like it just fit better I also have a few buttons now but I still don't know how to sew them on maybe I should learn that in the future I glued them on with universal glue but hey it, it stayed like ever since I made it it's has not come undone so it's a pretty good glue eh? <laughs> I 
And now you guys get to see them in their full glory all together. The three girlies of flying school. How nice is that? I think they don't look consistent or professional at all, but that's not the point. That is not why we're here. You guys did not come here to watch professionalism on my channel. We came here to watch chaos, but you know what? This chaos turned out to be pretty nice. I enjoyed it. It, I, I think it's cute. I think the inconsistencies between them are kind of charming in a way. I'm not going to lie to you guys. <laughs> you know what? I might even do the three main boy characters next year. Who knows? Our time has come to say goodbye now. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe found it useful. I'm not sure how it could be useful per se, but maybe it was entertaining. And that is all I care about. You know, this isn't really exactly what I usually do on a normal day. But this was a fun video to do for once. Who knows, maybe we'll do it again sometime. But until next time, bye-bye!